a southern right whale, 17 meters long and weighing in at 65 tons, about 800 times more than an average man. Whales are cetaceans, which in Greek and Latin means gigantic sea creature or sea monster. Whales breathe air through a pair of blowholes on top of their head, which is the first to break the surface. As they submerge, these holes shut tight, otherwise their lungs would flood. Whales have individual patterns of callosities, pale growths of barnacles, parasitic worms and lice living on their skin. Whale eyes are relatively small for their bulk, roughly tennis ball size, and most can see as well out of water as in. Unlike most other whales, southern right whales have no dorsal fin, but have a huge tail called a fluke, which is every whale's calling card. Flukes can be very expressive. This is called sailing. No one yet really knows why they do it. About 50 million years ago, a group of ungulates, although having originated from the sea, returned. These were the forefathers of cetaceans. The hippo is probably the closest living land relative of the cetaceans. It's what their ancestors could have looked like. The first whales recognizable as such appeared about 40 million years ago. Although large, those first creatures were smaller than most of today's whales. Over time, they developed a more and more streamlined shape. Right whales visit southern Africa's coastline, where they caught and mate quite close to shore. The sexes look so alike that the only way of telling them apart is size. However, a female is bigger than a male. She may have a long line of suitors and has the luxury of picking and choosing, taking her time to find the right one. She may take hours to pick the right southern right. Then they mate her on the surface, him underneath. If she rolls belly up, it's her way of saying no. She may take several mates, then it's up to their sperm to race it out. If whale mating is a real marathon, so is the female's pregnancy. It will be a full year before she has her calf. Southern right whales migrate to South Africa each year from icy Antarctica. Females give birth here, not in the frigid seas of the Antarctic. Calves are born with little blubber and need warmer waters to help them survive. Small percentages are born white, baby Moby Dicks. They are not albinos, but nor will they darken much with age. They will become brindled or mottled grey. produce super-rich milk, about 40% fat. The weight gain of calves is phenomenal. When a humpback cow has her calf, she gets help from a midwife whale. For a short while after its birth, the midwife often supports the new calf, holding it near the surface so it can breathe. Humpback whales pass South Africa's coastline twice a year, heading north to their breeding grounds and then south again with new young calves. After a century of persecution, whales are now being protected and numbers increasing. <laughs>